couple of things that can probably be improved on it. One thing that I wasn't particularly happy about was the close proximity of the fuel cap to the flame uh, to the flame generators itself. So you know, at the end of a burn, this fuel cap can get quite warm. That's probably a potential source for failure there. Other things that might be able to improve is having a slightly larger priming pan, so if it's really cold weather, you can use a bit more alcohol to prime it. Um, the good things I like about this particular stove compared to other ones, these copper um, generators, these pipes that are up here, um, the pipes themselves stop at the top of the container. Some of the other designs that I've been working on actually have pipes that go all the way down to the base. So as a word of caution for anyone that's wanting to try this, if you don't have holes drilled into the tops of the pipes above the alcohol level, this will be a massive fire hazard. Um, I've found that you don't need on metal, on copper-based or brass based burners, you don't actually need to have the generators going all the way down into the, into the fuel level. You can actually rely on the wicks themselves to bring the fuel into the, uh, the uh, generators. The other good thing I like about this stove is that it's very hard to get runaway with this stove. These stoves on the other hand, because the jet hole is on the same uh, system as the wicks themselves where the alcohol is if the coils get too hot then the the amount of alcohol that begins to vaporize starts to push liquid fuel out through the jets and you can end up getting a, a never-ending feedback loop that doesn't happen in this one because there's no uh, the only point of exit for the alcohol vapors is from the top of the container and unless you overfill the stove then you won't actually get liquid fuel coming out of it. It's only vapors that will come out. All of the vaporization is done inside there, but it can't escape from those generators. You can't see it on this video quality, but I found that if you get 40 grit sandpaper and really roughen up the copper tubes, you actually get a lot more heat transference and faster priming times. Other than that, um, that's about it look forward to comments for some suggestions or corrections to anything that I've mentioned perhaps and hopefully we can uh, further the development of alcohol stoves. Cheers, bye.